Hi. Um, oh, this is the introduction video uh, of basic optimization concept playlist. This playlist is uh, made and is intended for EE508 class uh, at Jolalongon University EE department. Um, this is one credit course that lasts for five weeks or um, 15 hours. Okay, and the outline of the courses are shown here in the screen. Uh, we intend, we design this class uh, as like, like the 101 class for optimization. We want the students or the learner to understand just the basic concept without going to the details of uh, numerical techniques or algorithm. So pr uh, probably we can say that we focus more on the formulation and I hope that you will learn uh, how to uh, how to differentiate uh, different problem types when we in, encounter an uh, optimization problem. So the very first thing is, of course, we talk about the definition of optimization problem and give you the uh, uh, like essential elements that consists of, of course, uh, the variable that we want to optimize, the objective to optimize it, and the constraint, like the condition. And, and then we, of course, present it in a mathematical way. We give you the standard setting how to represent um, an optimization problem in a mathematical way so that we can understand each other. And then we can talk about, OK, this is our objective. This is our constraint. This is, uh, this is our uh, variable. <clears throat> And then after that, uh, I will give you an overview of uh, how to differentiate, how to categorize, categorize optimization problems in in different aspects. Okay, uh, when we look uh, when we look for convexity, when we look for uh, the linearity of the function, for uh, for example. So this is just the uh, just the briefly concept. And then uh, one of the one of the easiest, uh, one of the first uh, problem that you mostly encounter is unconstrained problem. Then we go a little bit about uh, to talk about optimality uh, condition, which is the zero gradient condition that you may have learned already from the calculus, but we're going to uh, emphasize it again here. Um, of course, uh, one easy example of unconstrained is curve fitting problem or nonlinear least square. And and uh, after that, we, we move to uh, one of the special class of optimization problem that is convex optimization that find uh, that finds a lot of applications in engineering as well. So that's why we give uh, <clears throat> the concept, the introduction of uh, the vision of convex sets and convex function first. Um, two problem types that are convex optimization and uh, that and these are these problems are usually taught first because uh, they are easy. The first one is linear program. OK, so we go over the basic the LP linear program of two variables so that we can visualize it on the R2 plane. Then then uh, we explain the <clears throat> we explain the uh, objective function and how to find a constant set and how to find a solution graphically. After that, we move to the quadratic program. <clears throat> um, uh, and uh, we're going to have exercise of how to draw the how to draw the level set uh, and how to draw the constraint set so that you can get a better understanding where to locate the optimized uh, optimal solution. After that, after that, uh, I think we're going to spend around two or three hours uh, or two hours maybe. To, we represent some useful techniques to, to derive or reformulate equivalent uh, optimization problems. When you have two problems that, that are equivalent, um, it means that the uh, solution of one problem is the solution of another problem. And uh, these, techniques, uh, these techniques are very useful because maybe the optimization problem that you see uh, in the beginning maybe it looks uh, more difficult and and after you um, reformulate it in another representation it becomes easier okay so so we're going to have some exercise on, on on this part as well 
and then uh, we're gonna spend maybe uh, a little bit, maybe just two hours to explore other problem types, stochastic optimization um, <clears throat> uh, problem that uh, parameters are random, non-smooth uh, when the problem has objective functions that are non-smooth or non-differentiable at some points, and uh, Usually we have maybe a little time here, maybe just one hour to maybe explain conceptually what an what a multi-objective optimization is and why is it hard. And uh, we introduce some uh, uh, some uh, uh, easy approach, which is uh, to scalarize it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> after we have learned all the problem types, uh, we we go over duality theory just a little bit, just conceptually. And one of the condition that is important is the optimality condition for constraint problem. So this is important to learn it, uh, to learn the theoretical result so that when you use a solver, when you use a, a library, you understand when an algorithm stops because it usually stops according to optimality condition. <clears throat> So once we have learned all the theory, the concept, the concepts, all right. Uh, last week, during the last week, we we go to numerical points of view. Uh, we uh, we consider uh, uh, we consider the co we talk about the concept of how to uh, justify how to select an algorithm and what would be the criterion we should look for. Uh, so this that's going to be the concept of third direction and the step size, okay, and um, the concept of rate of convergence to understand the con uh, to understand the definition. So the goal here is that okay, when I when we give you this uh, analysis, can you determine uh, the rate of convergence and um, both asymptotically and the um, the convergence uh, for large scale problem as well. Okay, recently, uh, recently people often uh, often use uh, the representation of the convergence rate, um, not in a syntactic way, but uh, for example, people will say that when we run it after k iterations, what accuracy, uh, what accuracy of your solution would be? Okay, so it's going to be the big O of um, big O of some, some function of K, for example. So we learn, we will learn about the, uh, those concepts, all right? Eh, what happened? Hmm? Do, do, do. Done, okay. When we learn about that concept as well, like when you see this expression, what, what does it mean by that, okay? Big O of one over K, one over K squared, okay? So as I said, during the last week, we will have some numerical exercises. So here's are the list and the list uh, continue. There are many more. Um, so we're going to start with the problem of two variables. You're going to practice coding, but the coding is just basically call a solver, call just like library in MATLAB and in Python. So you don't need to worry about uh, like writing your own algorithm for now, but the goal is just uh, call the library correctly. OK, put the constraint, uh, constraint, put the condition, put the objective correctly and interpret the result correctly. OK, ha that's the whole goal of, of, of this short course, short course. Um, along the way, in, in, in the middle of uh, some, some, some lecture, of course, we will give you some uh, ap application problems. For example, economic dispatch optimization in power system. Uh, what else? Markovic uh, portfolio optimization, which is uh, quadratic. Logistic regression, which is convex problem. Uh, soft margin support vector machine, which is convex and quadratic problem. The problem of linear least square with some constraint, okay, some non-negative constraint, some box constraint, all those things. And uh, at the end, if, if time allows, we, of course, everyone now mostly in machine learning apply neural network. So then we will go over the loss functions, which is objective function from optimi optimal uh, optimization point of view. We'll go over those uh, loss functions, uh, MSE, MAE, Huber, and some loss function in classification, 
problem using neural network as well. So I think that would be that would be all for for the class. If you are interested, um, as I said uh, in the class, the actual class at EE is often offered is often offered at uh, semester one, okay, which is only one credit. So and it offered during the first weeks, and if you enroll, if you don't enroll, that's okay as well. So please uh, uh, stay and. Uh, enroll in the YouTube playlist instead. Okay, I hope I hope uh, that you enjoy the playlist. Okay, bye.